been a while since I've updated you on the Lion King tank, so... Oh, there you are. I don't know why I'm looking there. Um, so let's go and have a look. Lovely day here in the UK. And there she is. Needs a water change. Water? I don't know why I've gone Australian, but yeah, needs a water change because unlike some of my other tanks here that don't have water changes, just water top ups, um, there's not enough plants to be able to do that just yet. Let me get rid of that glare. There we go. Yeah, so I've just got a single uh, Danio in there just cycling the tank. I'm gonna have some water back in. It's actually water from a discus tank, so it's all dechlorinated and uh, really good condition. Interestingly, I don't know if you can see, see this plant here? No idea how it got there, what it is, but it's stuck to that rock and I'm keeping it there, it looks good. Right, so I now need to add in a heater because the fish going in here are tropical. Let's see if I can slide it in somewhere so it's not an eyesore. Nope, I can't. Now I'm just pointlessly <laughs> pushing it around. Um, I don't want it to be ugly. I think that'll work. Oh, well, it can go there for now, but I'll find a better way of putting it in so you can't see it. Right, so now we'll just let the dust settle and um, leave our fish to acclimate. I can introduce you. Oh, what's it going to be? Okay, so that's all cleared up. Let's put our fishies in.
Right guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Tank has been a lot of fun for me to, to make. Uh, it's a little bit gimmicky, but I think that's okay every now and again. And at the end of the day, it's got rocks in it, it's got plants in it, it's now got fish in it. So, you know, all good. Now I've got lots of different projects coming up, as you all know, I've still got two scapes right there. I'm looking at them now, completely empty. Um, I'm receiving the light soon for the water box cube aquarium to be doing the pea puffer tank that everyone wanted. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, then I've got the huge aquatorium I'm going to be making as well for Pancho. Again, I want to get started as soon as possible, but it's, you know, finding the right time. I don't want to rush these things because they don't ever look as good. And uh, all the shrimp tanks on the shrimp rack are coming in absolutely beautifully as well. They're all settled. They're all pretty much ready for shrimp. Well, two of them are. I've still got one to skate, which I've also got the stuff all ready to do that as well. So we've got lots coming up. If you haven't clicked subscribe, do. Um, I don't think you'll regret it. If you're, I'm only going to get more and more interesting, I think, anyway, as, as we progress, because quite a lot of the escapes in here now are quite new. So, yeah. Also, if there's any suggestions, anything you want me to do, just leave a comment below. And, you know, if you get a load of likes for that comment, suggest that other people want to see it as well, then that'll also be good. It's good to have feedback from everyone. Also, let me know what you'd like me to stock in this tank here, the uh, Nature Aquarium tank. Again, it's like interesting to know what other people think. I kind of got an idea of what I want, but it's good to hear a general view of what you see the tank as other than what I see it as. Yeah, so as I said, make sure you click subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.